Hey y'all, what is going on? I made you a 2.0 version of my trucking calculator. Wanted to show it to you. Hopefully you can see what's on my screen. Otherwise you're just staring at my fat face. So let's get into the calculator so you can understand how to use this tool that I've designed for you to help you with your business. Um, basically what do we have going on here? It's a weekly trucking calculator. Um, you have 52 weeks in a year. We're just going to look at one out of the 52 weeks as a projection of what your week by week is going to look like with your budget that we're putting together right here with all the numbers that you can crunch here in one place as a tool for you to be able to use that is tailored to you and what you have going on with your financial situation. This is 90% accurate. I'm not incorporating things like startup costs. I don't know if you're spending $80,000 to buy a truck. I don't know if you're spending $20,000 to buy a truck. I can't incorporate that into this calculator because I don't know about your specific situation. Um, and at the same time too, junk fees. Um, you know, I am a freight factoring company. Um, there's a cost for using a factoring company. You can get into that with a phone call with me or the bazillion other factoring companies out there. I do a pretty awesome job. We're a mom and pop located in Atlanta and uh, we don't have any automated systems. We deposit the money the exact same day as delivery. Um, but I don't want to get too into that. I'm a freight factor. We can get into that in another phone call, another conversation. Watch one of my other YouTube videos, read my blog. We'll get into this stuff in a little bit. But, you know, junk fees, um, you know, focus on the stuff that makes money and the small little things. Don't worry about it. So, um, paying for your electronic logbook, factoring, um, pre-pass for going through the tolls, pop tires, those kind of fees, I'm not throwing them into this calculator, um, but I am in a certain way. I'm calculating them as miscellaneous and putting them in that category, and we'll get into it later in terms of just having a well-rounded budget. But at the end of the day, People lie, numbers don't. Let's get into the numbers and I'm gonna show this to you. So let's just go into it. As you can see, it's based for an entire week. So let's go into Monday. Monday, let's say you find a load um, and it's given to you by a dispatcher. A dispatcher gives you a load for 1400 bucks. Let's slam it in there. That's a Raycon. You get on site at a shipper, shipper location. You're there for five freaking hours on a Monday. First two hours are free time, $50 an hour. For detention, loss of use of time, that's going to be a buck fifty. Let's slam it in there. Uh, we don't have to deal with a layover. Layovers are typically two hundred bucks. That's not going to be applied to what's going on on Monday. Tonu, we're not going to worry about it. We are going to fill up the truck with fuel. So let's do um, one hundred and seventy bucks. Hotel that evening. Yeah, let's get a let's get a hotel. Let's say we got a deal. We got one for seventy dollars. Not bad. And this was given to you by a dispatcher. Dispatcher is going to charge these days. I, some of them charge 3%. Some of them charge 10%. It's up to you for the sakes of this example and me doing some simple math. I'm just going to say 10% because I could do that math pretty quickly. But, you know, 6%, 8%, you know, there are people out there charging 3%. But at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. Uh, communication means so much to me being able, I, I don't know what's going on. I need help. I need assistance. I can call somebody and they're going to answer the phone. That's how I work with everybody that I work with. I got people calling me at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday, 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, Paul, I got a situation. Can you put me on FaceTime? I had this happen with a gentleman the other day I was working with. He's walking around the, the site. They're loading up the box truck and he's trying to explain things to me. And I'm telling him, hey, you need to get this done. You need to get that done. You need that strapped down. Anyway, somebody being able to assist you case by case. And it's all about training, teaching, learning, helping you learn from my mistakes and failures that are not costing you time and money. I've done this for a while. I've sold over 500 truckloads a month. I've learned a thing or two. If I can pass that on to you guys, that's why I've built these kinds of tools, this kind of network with this website to be able to help you just build your team so you can be successful. But let me get back into this. Yes, you did book this with a dispatcher. Um, for the sake of the example, let's say it was 10%. So that's going to be 140 bucks. Tuesday, you don't, you're not picking up a load. Let's assume the Monday delivery Wednesday. So we're not picking up a load. We don't have detention. We don't have a layover. We don't have a tonu. Fuel, we're not going to top off the tank. Let's say um, 
we found a hotel for 65 bucks. Um, and then on Wednesday, we're going to deliver that load first thing in the morning and we're going to find a new load, new loads going to pay, let's say it's going to pay 1550. And then all of a sudden the load gets canceled, load gets canceled. Shoot. Okay. Now what do I do? Well, you need to get it paid a tow new truck ordered, not used tow new. It's going to be what you're compensated for. Basically a broker says, Hey, I got a load for you. It's going to be for a 1550. They send you the rate con. It goes to you. You get in your inbox. You're about to turn on the truck, do your pre-check. And before you get going, broker calls you back and says, Hey, sorry, load's been canceled. Load's been canceled. Do not go pick this up. I'm sorry for wasting your time. I'll send you a truck order, not use the tow new 200 bucks. All right. You're getting 200 bucks for the day, but now you need to find another job. So you're calling your dispatcher. You're on the load board finding another load. Okay, you found something. You found something not for fifteen fifty, but you find something for, let's say, just fifteen hundred. Fifty bucks less, but hey, it's better than a goose egg for the day. You can have no work for the day, fifteen hundred at all, or fifteen hundred bucks. All right, you got another load. Let's say you don't have any detention, no issues. They get you in. They get you out in less than two hours at that shipper. Um, no layover needed, but yeah, you're going to fill up the truck with fuel again. Let's put 150 bucks in. Um, you know, this is an example for like a box truck. You can change it and use the numbers for a variety of different ways. I'm just portraying a box truck in terms of mindset, in terms of fuel cost, um, hotel. Yeah. Let's say we got a hotel. Let's do 85 bucks. And, um, let's say, no, you didn't use a dispatcher for this load. You booked it all by yourself. All right. Um, again, we're going from Wednesday delivery on Friday, Friday, let's say you deliver the load and you need to get a load, a longer haul because it's going to be picking up Friday, delivering Monday. So you're going to be holding it for a longer period of time. So it's probably going to pay more money. So let's say you grab a load and, um, let's say, you know, hot damn, you got this one for 1950. It's going to be a weekend run. Awesome money. Um, let's say there was, 30 minutes of detention. So that's half of 50 bucks. So that's $25. Uh, no layover needed, uh, layovers again, you know, that's, that's typically $200. Tonu, we have no tonus in regards to that, but we are going to fill up the truck with fuel. So let's do a buck 80 in the tank, uh, hotel that evening. Sure. Let's Friday, let's get a nicer hotel. Let's spend 120 bucks. It's been a long weekend. And, um, let's say, yeah, a dispatcher did give you this load. So we're going to pay the dispatch fee 10%. Again, that different for the sake of math and me using the calculator, we're going to go with 10% so I can do uh, $195. All right. So now let's go down here. Monthly expenses. What do those look like? Well, in terms of insurance, what are you getting quoted for insurance? Um, let's say your premium for the entire 12 months, the year, it's going to be $20,000, 20,000 divided by 12. That's 400 monthly expense insurance, 400. We stick it in right there. Okay. Load boards. Well, I know firsthand experience DAT load board. That's the one that I'm going to recommend everybody subscribe to. You got truckstop.com. You got one, two, three loadboard.com. You got a bunch of other ones too. There's tons of them. There's tons of them. Um, I have a list of load boards. You can check it out. Go to the homepage, scroll down, click on the load board tab, and on, there'll be a whole bunch of them. Uh, DAT is the best, but let's say for the sake of this example, you subscribe to DAT and truck stop. Let's say DAT is uh, 75 bucks. Let's say truck stop is also 75 bucks. So that's $150 for load boards, load boards, monthly expense, both of them, the total a buck 50 miscellaneous for the month. Miscellaneous for the month. Let's say miscellaneous, everything that we talked about from pre-pass on the tolls, e-logs, factoring, uh, pop tires, you name it. All these miscellaneous costs that could populate um, and junk fees and stuff. Eh, let's say $750 for the month. I think that's fair in terms of miscellaneous expenses. Let's just throw it all right there. All right. Now here we have rental payment or financing payment, one or the other. One of these boxes needs to be filled in. The other one needs to be blanked and left alone. So let's say for the sake of example, we are financing this truck. Maybe you're paying it with cash. I spoke to a gentleman today and he's like, yeah, man, I just bought a box truck, paid cash. 
done deal. Um, but let's say you're financing it and let's say your finance payment on a monthly basis is, let's say it's a little bit steeper than that. Let's say it's $1,350. All right, cool. Let's click the calculate button. Let's see the numbers that we got. We got our income, green, expenses, orange, red, and whatever. Let's just say I'm colorblind. But anyway, so we got our income. Awesome. Rate confirmations from the jobs that we're doing from brokers, from dispatchers. It's almost 5,000 bucks. Detention, waste of time at a shipper or a receiver waiting around. We got a buck 75. Layovers didn't have any. We did have one load cancel on us. We got compensated for the truck order not used, 200 bucks. For that one week out of the 52 weeks in the year, we have 5,225 bucks. What a realistic number. A realistic budgeting number for a projection. There are seasons to trucking. We got produce season. You got hurricane season. There are peaks and valleys to the year, but a realistic number that you can look at and be tangible to understand in terms of your prepping for what's going to be taking place when you start your trucking business. Right here, this number right here, 5225 bucks. That was your income for that one week out of the 52 weeks for the year. Pretty realistic, you know, Getting a, getting a baseline, getting a pulse, understanding what's going on. Well, let's look at the expenses too. That's pretty realistic. 500 bucks for fuel. Hotel, almost 350. Insurance, we've itemized it to the week from the month, from the premium from the year. We broke it all the way down. The calculator does it for you. Load board, per week, you know, for the month, we set up $150 for the two boards. Per week, it's 36 bucks. Dispatch service fee that they charge the dispatcher, they gave you jobs, they gave you work, they recruited and found you an opportunity, called you, offered it to you. They they, they they're getting paid $335. Awesome. They did a good job. You made good money. Don't complain about it. Be happy about it. Use a dispatcher. Use a dispatcher, especially in regards to getting off that starting line, because they're 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 like a coach they're like a trainer just like me i know this stuff backwards and forwards you know you have me as a point of contact to teach you and train you and coach you on what i know same thing with the dispatcher they're there to help you as well and hold your hand you know i tell people all the time if you're going to go on an african safari you're probably going to pay somebody to take you through the jungle why not that's what they're they're specialized in that's what they're good at if they know where x marks the spot is Pay someone to hold your hand to get there. They don't have to hold your hand the entire time, and one day they will let go. But I even have a mentor with this website that I use, and he charges 100 bucks every time I have a conversation with him. I'm paying him to teach me. You need to pay somebody to teach you. If it speeds up the process, helps you save time and money, do it. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Let me stay on task. As you can tell, I love the freight game. This is... This is so much fun. I love what I do. You're going to love it too. It's addictive in an awesome, amazing way because the harder you work, the more you can earn, which is awesome. So we talked about dispatchers. The dispatcher got paid $335. Awesome. Beautiful. Um, you know, your finance payment for the week is $321. Maybe it's less than that. Maybe it's more. Play with the numbers. Go back to the calculator and change them up a little, up a little bit. Miscellaneous cost on a weekly basis was 180 bucks. Contacts are glazing over. So our expenses, basically $1,800 for the week. Look at that. Profit weekly, 3,500 bucks. Profit annually. Numbers don't lie. People do. These are the numbers. Like I said, this is 90% accurate. Click on this reset button right down here and you can retweak all of these numbers um, and keep playing with it. Um, pick and choose. You know, maybe let's go from removing the financial payment and maybe you're renting the box truck and maybe for renting it, maybe on a monthly basis, the enterprise or Penske, your writer, maybe they want, let's say you want 5,000, 5,000 for the month. Okay. Let's hit calculate. Okay. Our income stayed the same, but our expenses went up because again, we went from finance. Now the finance is zero and the rental payment is basically 1200 and weekly profit, annual profit. Keep playing with this calculator. It's an awesome tool. You can click this reset button, resets everything, or you can go back and plug things in. 
Like I said, I do fruit factoring. That's my bread and butter. The butter's on the biscuit. That is what I do, and, and I'm fantastic at it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, click on each one of these buttons right here. I have people for you to network with, people that are part of my team that know me, that want to help you. You know, there's a lot of sketchy people in this business that just take advantage of people left and right. And the more you read my blog and the other things and tools and resources I have on the website, you'll hear me talk more about that. And it's disgusting. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, if you're getting into this industry, whether you've been in it for a year, maybe you've been in it for six months, six weeks, six days, uh, or you just filed your DOT number and you're trying to get going and you're dreaming and you're going after what you want to do and starting your trucking business. Um, equipment is really cheap right now. It's really easy to get into this market. Interest rates, yeah, they suck, but equipment is stupid cheap right now. Oh my gosh. But, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that get in this business and they really get taken advantage of. And it is disgusting. It's horrible. And that's part of the reason why I built this. A, a healthy place to network with me, network with people that I have vetted and qualified and know that they are not sketchy people. They're going to rip you off and take advantage of you. Um, and a lot of the issue is when people get going, whether that's with trucking or buying a franchise for McDonald's or Jimmy John's or, you know, any kind of entrepreneurial business, when you get going, a lot of times it's sort of you run into the roadblock of, shoot, I just don't know the quite the right questions to ask. And that's okay. You're new to the business. Of course, you don't know the right questions to ask. You've never done this before. So you don't really have the best teacher of all, which is experience. Use other people like me, the people in my network that have the experience to hold your hand to get you where you want to be. Um, there's nothing wrong with having a mentor. There's no, nothing wrong with having somebody help and train you. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling. I don't want to make this too, too long. You can click on the about me. You can read a little bit more about my history and things about me and my background and what I do. Um, I have my freight blog. I have Carrier HQ, even if you're a carrier that you don't work with me. I'm more than happy to you know post your information. I do not share your information with anybody. Um, I basically give all the carriers that I work with a ID number that only I know. So I share your information with brokers that have shipments in Atlanta. So I have quite a few box trucks that work in Atlanta. I share those with brokers I know, and it helps those carriers find loads close to home. That's where their headquarters is. Why not help carriers find freight as well? If I also can do the factoring and everything else, why not help on this side of the fence? Um, and then we have reviews. I think reviews are pretty important and helpful. You can submit these anonymously. I have social media people that are going to put it all over uh, Facebook for the most part for marketing purposes, just to get it out there. You know, hey, there are, you know, Fleet Smart. What a sketchy fuel card company. Mm, hopefully nobody comes after me for saying that. But, you know, over here, you can post this stuff um, anonymously, like this carrier right here. They had a positive review with a broker at Echo Global Logistics, one of the big, you know, 10 names right there in terms of brokerages. They had a pot of ex positive experience and then they posted a review so they can let other carriers know. And also, you know, negative reviews, you know, this broker down here at the bottom, they didn't pay out for five hours freaking worth of detention. So let's notify the community and share the information so everybody is well informed. Um, you know, if you want to get in touch with me, here's a great tab, fill out the information. Here's my phone number, my email. And, and that's it in a nutshell. I'm located right now. I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The office that I work for, it's located in Roswell, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, yeah, it's the freight game. This is a team sport. You got to be really selective with who you bring on your team. There's a lot of people that are going to bait and switch you. A lot of them. A lot of them. Not me, though. I don't play it that way. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You're going to reap what you sow. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you check out my website. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I get to meet you. Give me a call. Love to talk strategy with you, teach you some stuff that I know. If you need freight factoring, I'm your guy. Better call Paul. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.